I am here off the coast of Panama where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake. So this took place a little after the mid-2000s, right? And Elena is recording this segment on standard play instead of the latest quality that was out to the public. Also, if you go back a little, you can see Elena had this camera underwater while recording. Waterproof with the size of this one didn't exist at the time, so it was getting sinned. For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? There is no way that this book would be completely protected in the coffin during the last couple of centuries underwater. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no way. Deal was Ferkfin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... Could that's... you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay, what's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take, at least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Elena was looking forward for a couple seconds and just now realized that there are suspicious looking boats heading their way. Good idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? So you show funded and helped out Drake for searching Francis Drake's coffin out in the sea, but you guys never thought of checking if Drake was allowed to do this kind of search? Also, what will calling for help do? By the time they come, you two would already be dead. Don't forget, you're located in the middle of the ocean. I've been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's alright. You just... You point and shoot. Elena is basically comparing a gun to a camera. Naughty Dog, good job on perpetuating the dumb blonde stereotype. How the hell they find us out here? What can I say about the aiming system in this game? It shows his age. Thank God the later games have improved this so much. Whole ship's gonna blow! We gotta jump! Oh wait! What are you doing? Putting your life on the line for a simple camera. It's amazing how Lena lived through four games. Well, in that case, I can most definitely say the same thing about Drake. Including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? A man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies, any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. <laughs> the key page of the book is somehow always in the middle of the book cliche. Also, this book was written over 400 years ago. How is it that it's still able to be read during all these years? I recently opened my second grade notebook and I couldn't read a damn thing because the words and numbers were fading out. That's a 20 year old book compared to a 400 year old book. How come nothing was mentioned between the middle and the end of the book? This is it. This is finally it. It only we got one problem. Yes, that's what I said. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. Good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. Sully wants to ditch Elena so he won't be able to spread the news, but he tells some dangerous people that will try to kill them for the gold. Expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. What the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. My eyeball's in debt. Sully, you're searching for gold from centuries ago. You're not gonna find it in this place. Nobody said it was gonna be that easy. That little tiny explosion broke that giant pillar? I don't care if this is a game. That is a sin. Also, the animation of that explosion is horrendous. Sully is actually lifting this door made out of stone, which should weigh more than he can handle. All right, let go. 
This ought to hold it. Hurry, Sully! You see how heavy that stone door is? And Sully was lifting it up? Sure, he was using a wheel to aid him, but no one can tell me that's possible, not even for a video game. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Hold on, Sully, what did you say a couple seconds ago? Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Even if you can't find the other stacks of gold, you two just found a huge statue of gold right now. How much is enough? Must have come up the river during flood season and got us stuck. Let's check it out, huh? Yeah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Something about this feels kind of hinky. The I have a bad feeling about this cliche. You act like you've never seen a German U-boat in the middle of the jungle before. Uh, I'm being serious, Nate. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you stay here? I'll check it out myself. I'll call you if I run into any Nazis. Yeah, right. You do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on to this for me, will you? Nate, how is that book still dry? You went for a swim not 10 minutes ago. Also, you giving it to Sully? Why? You didn't give him the book before jumping into the water before. It's only because the plot demands that this happen. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. But you really don't have to. You can easily climb this ship. Instead, you'll be climbing literally around the ship just to get on top when you could have climbed the side of it. <clears throat> Correct me if I'm wrong, metal rust, right? How is it that Nate is able to turn this wheel when it's centuries old? Huh. Now where'd you get this, my decomposing friend? Yeah, just take one coin. You're on a treasure hunting adventure after all. Gotcha. Are you all right? <laughs> Sully, you're not gonna believe this. Try me. I think I found our missing page. You're kidding. It looks like Drake and our German pals were after the same treasure. And I've got the map that's gonna lead us right to it. Nate, this better not be another wild goose chase. We've gotta get something out of this trip or- Or what? Character of interest suddenly stops talking through the radio cliche. <laughs> Friends of yours, Sully? I'm Gabriel Roman. Yeah, I know who you are, asshole. Manners, young man. This is just business. Get over there. Uh, easy. Put your hands up. All right, they're up. See, your friend owes me money, Mr. Drake. A lot of money. So when he told me that you two were onto something big, the find of a lifetime, he said, well, I was intrigued. But he's made grand promises before, haven't you, Victor? And here we are again. Another fool's errand. Jeez, does he always go on like this? <laughs> Take it easy, Navarro. <laughs> so, I'm afraid the time is up. Unless, of course, you found something in there, Mr. Drake, that might compensate for all this unpleasantness. He's screwing with the innate. They heard everything. Just give him the map. Slowly. What does a Krieg's marine map have to do with El Dorado? What? You think this is a coincidence? The Germans were after the same treasure. That map has something to do with it. So? We square? For now. But just in case you need a reminder... Hey, come Ooh. on, leave him out of it. Yeah, don't you guys usually just cut off a finger or something? That's far too vulgar. No, I think this will hurt him a bit more. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Roman. 
He's got nothing to do with that. Sully! Of course the power plot demands overpowers all. But why does Sully act as if he died? Obviously he didn't die. At most, Sully should have reacted to the pain because it still hurt, as he stated later on in the game. How did Roman's men get on top of the ship? We didn't see any of them climbing the ship. Stop him! As you can see, at least four bullets went through Drake. Yet, he still continued running like it was nothing. Whoa there, cowboy. Ugh. That's for leaving me at the dock. Yeah, and how in the world did you manage to catch up to Drake with no equipment? He left you stranded on an island alone. Game fails to explain this, and that's why I'm sending this. The fact that Roman's men didn't hear Elena shouting out at Nate is unbelievable. Right, so a strange vehicle appeared out of nowhere. How did they have the key to turn it on? Was it left hook on the Jeep? If so, who leaves their keys with the vehicle? Somehow there's a hole in the parachute when clearly before activating the parachute it was in mint condition. Also, who puts back a parachute when there's a hole in it? This is extremely unlikely to happen in real life. Nate survives this. So Nate's kicks are so powerful that they completely break two metal gates? If that's the case, why doesn't Nate just do that to all his enemies? Come on now, that truck wouldn't just flip like that in the air remaining completely attached after the impact of that explosion and miraculously landing in a spot for Nate to continue his path. This was a big mistake. <laughs> no kidding. You know, I should have turned before the bridge. <sighs> <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, come here a minute. I want to show you something. That thing still works? Uh-huh. Check this out. Okay, see this building in the harbor? That's where all the boats coming into the colony would have unloaded their cargo. So if the El Dorado treasure came to this island, it would have had to have come through here. Wait a minute, what? What was that? What? Rewind it. Yeah? Wait, stop. Uh-huh. Right there. That's our ticket out of here. Come on. Our ticket out of here? Are you giving up? Maybe you hadn't noticed, but we're kind of outnumbered. <sighs> we're doing fine so far. Oh, Lord. Elena, I don't need your bullet riddled corpse on my conscience. Let's go. Oh, please. You quit if you want to, but don't use me as an excuse. <laughs> Fine. It's me, okay? I am quitting. Are you coming or not? So that's it. You're just gonna forget about the treasure and forget about Drake? <sighs> God damn it. This is not worth dying over. Nay says this is not worth dying over when he knew the chances of losing his life would be pretty high when he knew he might not be the only one who was after the treasure. Also, there are countless booby traps to keep people from getting this treasure. The controls for these jet skis are the most uncomfortable controls in any video game. Made me feel like I needed 10 more fingers. Hey, check this out. This looks right. The Esperanza. Sailed from Cayo, Peru, carrying 800 bars of gold, 1,200 silver emeralds, golden masks, ornaments. Whoa, reading 16th century Spanish? Not just a grave robber after all, huh? It's a sin he's able to read it at all. The words should have faded out and 16th century Spanish is a completely different Spanish than modern Spanish, which Drake is able to speak. Wow. There you are. That thing kind of gives me the creeps. Huh, that's the last entry. That somebody special? What? Oh, uh, yeah, I 
Guess you could say that. Huh. I had you pegged as more of a woman in every port kind of guy. <laughs> Don't I wish. No, this was, uh, this was Francis Drake's ring. I, you know, kind of inherited it. Sick Parvis Magna? Greatness from small beginnings. It was his motto. Check out the date. 29th of January, 1596. One day after he supposedly died. Wait, what are these numbers right here? Coordinates. Right off the coast of Panama. Oh, so that's how you found the coffin. Yeah, that's right. See, Drake left this as a clue to pinpoint the exact burial site. For someone clever enough to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, nice try. But we're still going for that boat. Yeah, I'm afraid this... Out of everything they've both been through, not only does she have that camera, but it's still working somehow. <laughs> Apart from our atrocious aim, how did a simple lock hold doors hanging if they weren't connected to the sides? As soon as the lock was shot, both doors fell apart. How did you get here? That is a very good question, Nate. Remember when Nate had to jump from platform to platform? How did Elena avoid that? If she did jump through it, why didn't we see her doing that before? Elena, can you show that to Nate when you two are in a safe place to watch that clip of Sully? What? Don't forget to stop on the dock. And... Hello. He's alive. Huh. I don't know, Nate. I mean, how much do you trust this guy? It's not exactly like they're holding them at gunpoint. I, I know. Yeah, it seems weird. But no, Sully's a lot of things, but he's not a backstabber. Which way were they headed? Uh, Northish. How none of them heard them two talking? They were whispering, sure, but I would still hear someone whisper from that close. It's not a backstabber. Which way were they headed? Uh, northish. Yeah, towards the mountains. How would she know that? It's not like they said it themselves. How does something like this happen? See those scorch marks? Uh-huh. Somebody packed this place with enough gunpowder to blow it wide open. Ooh. Watch where you step. Some of these boards are... Really fallen. <laughs> Character steps on the wrong plank and is not about to fall off the wooden bridge cliche. Nate is adding full body weight on those loose planks along with Elena and it somehow doesn't break off as well. You've got to let it go! Damn it! <laughs> Elena almost let herself die for the sake of the camera. She should have let the camera go when the plank broke off. I'm aware that this is a game, but any game that defies the laws of physics will get sent. It's not like it's a ramp that Nace is forcing the jet ski to go through. It's a cliff which the jet ski might as well fly if that's the case. Those clowns in the dust ages ago. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Oh, I wish I had my camera. So what? The Spanish booby trapped the island to protect their gold? This wasn't made by the Spanish. Take a closer look at the spikes. You have got to be kidding me. This is from our plane. W wait, that doesn't make any sense, though. Why would someone set traps like this when their own men are crawling all over the island? They wouldn't. Something's been here since a trap was sprung. Something or someone. Do you think Shh. that... Do you hear that? Hear what? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We're being watched. Yeah, you know what? It's probably nothing. Uh -huh. Character has a strong feeling about something, but then brushes it off as if it's nothing cliche. She worked in this little barn. It's, oh, man. She had a smile that would melt your heart. Bro, I swear to God, she just as soon kill you as kiss you if she caught you stepping out. Just a wee bit of a thing. She couldn't have been much more than 4'11". They called her the spinner because she... Will you shut up, old man? You told us that one a dozen times already. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> of course I did. Memory is not what it used to be. What? My memory is not what it used to be because I'm an old man, cliche. Man, it's about time you showed up. <sighs> well, 
You're looking awfully good for a corpse. So you brought the girl after all, huh? The girl? Hey, if it wasn't for her, you wouldn't be getting rescued right now. If this is a rescue... What the hell does that mean? You gotta admit, Sully, it's all shady. Yeah. I mean, you tipping those guys off... And miraculously showing up alive? Now, wait a minute. Roman had a contract out on me. I needed to buy some... All right, stupid mistake. I didn't realize they'd try and track us. Sully, we would have been headed home with the treasure by now if you had just for once kept your mouth shut. And you might have thought of checking for a pulse before running off and leaving me for dead. Well, if he wasted one more second, Roman and his men would have captured him and definitely killed one of you. You're the one that somehow looked dead when a bullet hit the book, and not you. <laughs> you are not going to believe this. Huh? <laughs> no way! <laughs> Old Francis took a bullet for you. Yeah. I thought this kind of thing only happened in the movies. Yeah, yeah I find out how it can happen in video games too. Wow. Oh, this looks promising. Here, let me see that. Yeah. Okay. You two sit tight. I'm gonna check things out. Character of interest splits from the group cliche. <sighs> There's nothing here. This is getting so old. Nate? It's Drake. He never found it. He just died here. So much for greatness. Wasted his life. Anyone notice how Nate yanked that necklace off his neck? How is it that it's still intact as if it never broke off? Are you ready to get moving? Yeah. More than ever. Carrot of Ventures found the dream he's been chasing is no more than a fluke and quits his dream cliche. Hello, boys. <laughs> easy, Eddie. Easy. What the hell's going on out there? Didn't you see them? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. This Shabroni's death was so obvious. It's always the one who reacts to a certain threat that always ends up dying. Eddie's death was obvious as well. That's no! right, Eddie. Just keep shooting, wasting your ammo for when you really need it. That's right, you ugly coon, you... Don't mess with Eddie Rata! What a useless character. Doesn't he know not to scream into a hole where he can't see what's coming out of there? Are you okay? Yeah. Nate? Okay. So the descendants are capable of making traps like the ones who Drake and Elena found in the forest. But they aren't capable of turning the wheel handle to open the door? Sounds like plot demands to me. Go! Go where? It's not like you guys are moving to a different room. Can you hear me in there? Loud and clear, jackass. Oh, no microphone on your end. What a shame. Uh, Nate, get out of there before- uh, Elena! Leave her alone! <coughs> Navarro, if you can't maintain control over a small girl, it won't happen again. <coughs> Trust me. I'm sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to, uh, thank you for leading us to El Dorado. Of course. Oh, I hope you don't mind if we borrow Miss Fisher a little while longer, mm. just to discourage you and your partner from trying anything creative. If you ask me, that would give me one incentive to catch up to you dumbasses. Villain most common cliche. Capture the loved ones, make sure the threat is aware the villain means business. <laughs> you
You two should realize by now that I plan for every contingency. Now drop your weapons. Down there. No heroics, please. Or I will kill her. Good. Now, if you'll just hang tight, we'll be with you in a moment. It's magnificent. The craftsmanship. I've never seen anything like it before. I have never seen anything like this before, cliche. The real treasure of El Dorado lies inside. <laughs> Open it! I was not surprised Navarro betrayed Roman at all. The soldiers and the guards were Navarro's men. They could have killed Roman at any time. Navarro, that thing wiped out an entire colony. You don't know what you're doing. Wrong. I'm the only person on this island who knows what the hell he's doing. Gotta get lost that one. Cuidado! You are so pathetic. All of you. Scrambling around for your petty treasures. Do you have any idea what this is worth? Well, if you ask me, it ain't worth killing off an entire race of humans just for wealth and fortune. Who's to say you won't accidentally inhale the particles that's inside the coffin? from daylight to evening in seconds. Drake didn't break his legs after that land. Elena has her hands tied behind her back. She has no seatbelt on and somehow she is still in the spinning helicopter. Now her hands are untied. I'm sure Navarro didn't untie them so how did her hands get released? Nate, it's best you take his weapon away from him so he poses no threat against you guys no more. You amateur. It really irks me to see such a predictable villain death. Navarro wasn't laying on wires before. As a matter of fact, there was no wires anywhere near him. So Drake must have inhuman strength to make this helicopter move with his own bare hands. This Nibelin cliche, get wrapped around some kind of rope and drop along something a hundred times the size and weight. Save the world, triumph over evil. Pretty <laughs> typical. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a shame we're leaving empty handed, though. Oh, well, you know, I, I did manage to save one small thing. Here, I, I thought you might miss this. So, when did you get that necklace? Drake was with her the whole time. The only explanation is because the game demanded it. You two got a funny idea of romantic. What a cock blocker. You still owe me one. I'm good for it.
Riding off into the sunset cliche.